good afternoon. Thank you for joining us here on this beautiful day at the Nürburgring for what promises to be 60 minutes of action-packed racing. Because today we are here with the GBRC, the Grand Prix British Racing Club, for their GT3 Championship. We are here for round six. And we have the weather. It's an absolute scorcher. Uh, so let's get down to see what happens. Now as the cars come round the final corner, they give up for the start. And Trey gets them off. We've got Meridian on the other side, the BMW and the Honda NSX alongside each other. And we've got a BMW in behind them as well as they come into turn one. Oh, there's a big accident there, just at the back. We'll catch up with that in a second. We'll have a little look at that, see who's involved as we watch the leaders come through. Turn two and into turn three, we have Trey out in front still in the Honda NSX. As Vantage just comes out off the pit lane there, pit lane start. We'll Meridian in second, Aldi in third, Cole Bloke, Barta, Duck Gang, Liam Knott, Tourno, RGT. Oh, there's another couple of cars running wide there as well. Skegna and the Audi, Trev and the Audi's a Baldus, and it's going side by side into turn five, and they're so close to touching. Let's have another look at that start because there was a lot of incidents happening so let's use the helicam and we'll, oh fine just now does anyone get on the grass maybe nope it looks like there is a bmw that maybe has a couple of crashes into the braking zone there's a mclaren backwards off the track and another another couple of cars running wider into turn two as well let's have another look at that again now as we come on board the start with Pure GT in the number 66 BMW. It looks like they've maybe just misjudged the breaking point into turn one. There's a couple of cars again as you can see there, a couple of incidents, it's not just them. Watch now the blue McLaren of Dennis. Let's see what happens with them into turn one now. And yep, they're a victim, they're a casualty of what happened. And they're backwards through turn one. And that's caused a little bit of an issue there as well. A couple of cars getting all involved. And then the BMW going backwards on the track there. And they've got. Bibara and crisscross off into the wall on the outside. Some heavily damaged cars there as they come through turn one. But the oh, and there's the Audi getting squeamish out of turn four there. All the cars do seem to still be going, which is a good sign. As we watch Palmer now into turn five, lap three. And we're watching the Audi of Vantage closing in on the pack in front, nearly touches the back of the BMW. And we've got another Audi and I think two Audis in front there fighting as well. But Vantage round the outside into turn five. That's a fantastic move. And they'll now be looking to put pressure on the purple and yellow T1 SR car in front of them as well. Lap 3 and Vantage now has a fantastic run on the Audi of Goggs up through the Schumacher S into the next corner and Goggs has went a little bit deep they'll need to be careful rejoining and they are and that's allowed Vantage through they'll be pushing on now Lap 4, Vantage again fantastic pace being shown by the young Audi driver in this early stage where they made the overtake and we've lost and they've just got under the Astro Tough and lost the rear and into the tyre wall and again need to be careful of each other as the McLaren goes through that will be Vantage now down into P11 I believe we come on board Gogs now as he's putting pressure on Pure GT as they come up to the second to last corner it looks like Pure GT struggling 
and Gogs pulls to the inside, sends one up the inside of the final turn and looks like they may have made it stick as well and now the BMW will have to deal with the Honda NSX behind them as well as we come on board the blue McLaren of Dennis it looks like the yellow Porsche has just run wide in front and they touch, they make contact as the Porsche comes back on track it looks like the McLaren is going to end up in front but they have lost a position there yep they're in front now of the Porsche Palm, now I must say there's a fair amount of damage on the front of that Ferrari there as Chris Goss pulls up to the outside as they come flying down into the hairpin at the bottom of the hill as Chris Cross in the GTR pulls to the inside and makes the move stick around the hairpin clean driving from the both, it does look like Parma however is nursing that damage just Pure GT now moving backwards through the track as they come across the Schumacher S crisscrossing the GTR looking for another move pulls to the inside and down on the brakes and gets the move done again I think that BMW is nursing a bit of damage there from the first lap collision now we've got Nez pulling up on the back of the Ferrari in front the yellow Ferrari of RGT the 61 car Nez in the black Audi pulls to the inside they both get close under braking and I think the Ferrari is not able to hold on and, and can they go up the inside here? No, that's Nes keeps the position into P2 and moves on up into P6 and now we come watch Gogs and GFY GFY and the Mercedes runs a little bit slow there Gogs tucks back in, does it make me think about the move? No he does, he pulls out left and goes down the inside, can they make a stick, they're a little bit wide they're side by side into the following corner, oh that's close the Mercedes stays in front, fantastic driving and the Ferrari comes through now to lap these two we have the BMW of Aldi now pulling and there's a slipstream of Zabaldis, the pink livery BMW who's going to be last on the brakes, it looks like Zabaldis is last on the brakes but has went deep and that's going to allow Aldi through to make the position up into P5 as they now look to chase down the 61 car, the Ferrari in front and now we watch the McLaren of Barta also now pulling down against the BGTT Pure GT car it is nursing a lot of damage and that's the McLaren and probably the BMW, the grey BMW just in behind going to make that position stick as well and that moves Barta up into P9 lap 20 we're watching Gogs in the yellow and purple Audi and Palma in the purple Ferrari the Ferrari gets a little bit out of shape on turn 4 as they come into turn 5 side by side Gogs slams on the brakes makes the move down the inside and keeps it within the white lines on the grey stuff that's good driving there, great overtaking move, but again it looks like Palmer just going back through the field with the damage. It's been 60 minutes of good racing, but here we have Meridian, best lap 157.0, absolutely flawless. Qualifies on the front row, leads the race and takes the win. Driver of the day from the car, no, from the 495 car. Well, that's the end of the highlights package there let's have a look over the results for the race we've got Meridian who wins, takes the checkered flag with a massive margin of 43 seconds Coke Bloke in P2 and Nez in their debut in the series takes P3 only 2 seconds behind there that rounds off the podium in 4th we have RGT Aldi and Duck Gang in P6, Chris Cross recovers from their spin at the start there in to P7, Zibaldis in P8, Barta P9, Husky Broken P10, Gogs also recovers from the start there making the, after making a pit stop into P11, 2 P12, GFY 13, Palmer struggling with damage in 14, 
Same with Denison, the McLaren in 15th. Bibara 16th and Trev rounds off uh, the field today. That's been a fantastic race. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Next time out, we will be at Misano and we'll have two 25-minute sprint races. Hope to see you then. Until then, take care.